I won't say it. I won't say it. Ah, NASCAR was more entertaining than Formula One today. Shot down, Busher. Oh man, Newman's on fire. Now, admittingly, I did not watch the entire Talladega race, but I tuned in a little about about halfway through the race, and uh, it, it got pretty entertaining with the amount of awesome carnage that there was. With there was like, I guess you could say four the big ones. I mean, there was uh, I think three cars on its roof, um, just so many broken parts, duct tape, and uh, just. I don't even know, but it was uh, it was pretty entertaining. I mean, I know it's not normal, but it, I mean, the carnage definitely made it uh, really fun and entertaining to watch. Um, I don't really know much about it to really talk talk about it more, but maybe if I'm bored next time, I'll see if there's a NASCAR race on, and we, we, maybe we can start getting into some more NASCAR. Maybe. No guarantees, but this is a good start. Oh, yes, and just so you guys know, this is the guy that got third with this spectacular vehicle. The other thing we watched today was Formula One. Uh, it was the Russian Grand Prix. Nico Rosberg won his seventh Grand Prix in a row, the fourth in a row this year. He kind of just walked away with it. Not a not a challenge by anybody really. Hamilton finished second, coming from ten, so he had a good run. But the the big news of the story or the day was uh, Sebastian Vettel getting taken out by Daniel Kvyat. Uh, I don't really want to say again, but. Uh, he got to he got hit by him twice this race, uh, and it definitely uh, ended it badly for him, very badly. As you can see here, uh, he gets hit once into turn one, which is technically turn two, uh, and then just again in the next corner. I think, I, I don't know, I think Cafe was just trying to get a good run out of uh, turn two there, and it just it just wasn't there at all. He, he really went into that way too hot and uh, got into the back of him, and Vettel ended up getting into the back. Of, or in, into the side of Ricardo, and he ended up just, just damaging Ricardo's car. Uh, not completely, but he was definitely well off the pace and did, wasn't even able to finish in the points. Uh, and then on the, the big left sweeper, uh, Gafiet terminated Vettel by getting into the back of him there, and Vettel went off into the side there. Comical to say the least, but it, it, the the frustration and anger you can hear his voice. It is actually completely understandable. Uh, some funny antics after that. You can see. I don't know why, but it, it just looks really funny watching Vettel put the front wing into the driver's seat of the car. It was a kind of a little odd, but a little comical. And then he drove the uh, the marshal's little scooter back back to the pits, which was another odd and very. Uh, very strange thing to watch. But nevertheless, it was kind of fun. little oddball stuff here and there. Other than that, the race uh, wasn't as thrilling as the other ones it, uh, earlier this year. But there were some good good battles throughout the field. Uh, uh, the finish the podium out was with uh, Kimi, Kimi Raikkonen. He wasn't challenged too much here and there. Uh, then fourth and fifth was a solid solid Williams performance. And uh, unfortunately, Ricardo didn't get his fourth fourth place in a row. Uh, otherwise, he would have. Uh, it would have been a little weird if he would have gotten another fourth place. But after that, behind them, it was actually really good. Uh, really good racing for everybody else. There was like four teams all battling really close with Haas, Renault, McLaren, and uh, Sauber all hooking and jabbing. And uh, it was really good to see that many different uh, cars all racing and all about the same pace. So it was actually uh, pretty entertaining to watch that. Uh, definitely good to see Kevin Magnuson scoring the first points for Renault, bringing home a solid seventh place. So I got to I, I got to give Kevin Kevin Magnuson the uh, the driver of the race, uh, in my opinion, get just bringing the bringing home the uh, first points for the team Renault. And he was actually doing some really good racing on track, making some good uh, hooking and jabbing passes and everything like that. Also, McLaren scored. Uh, had two point scoring finish with Alonso finishing sixth and uh, Button finishing tenth. Uh, so it was definitely a good performance out of them. And finishing out uh, the top ten was Haas bringing home another eighth, giving uh, Grosjean a bit more points, and Sergio Perez getting P9. So that was uh, 
that was uh, the ten, the top ten with uh, Ricardo getting eleventh, just out of the points. Uh, next week we have uh, the Moto Moto GPs heading to the Mahans. That's a that's a good one. And Indy, no, Indy's next week. Uh, Moto GPs heading to the Mahans. Maybe maybe we'll watch the NASCAR race. I think they're at Kansas. Maybe I think that's where I saw. I might be wrong. And VH Supercars are next week as well. So definitely tune in then, guys. Thank you so much for watching this one. We do this uh, show every week, so if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. And let me know what you guys think was your favorite mo uh, moment in motorsports this week. Uh, until next time, stay true and race on.